everybody to Filmora Effects, and today I'd like to show you how to achieve that uh, effect I just showed you in the demo, the reverse motion, and how to make that really smooth. Filmora 12 makes this pretty easy. Let's go ahead and use some stock media. So what I did is I found a uh, pretty static image here with the water moving, but the background is, is still, and that helps to um, get a good effect. First thing you want to do is I'm just going to go ahead and mute that. Uh, I've got my keys program, so M is mute for me. And then I'll just scroll across. You can see what we got. Now that's pretty far away to see the effect. So one thing that I did was um, a couple keyframes where I, I um, brought it in closer. I scaled it up and I did a few other things. So let's let the water... Let's just go ahead for this demonstration and just scale it on up the whole thing just so you can see what I'm going to do. And let's go ahead and move that so you can see the bottom pretty clearly. Okay. And wherever you want the water to go backwards, let's go ahead and split it. So the water's going down here, and we're going to let the water go up from here to, say, here. So this section will be reversed. So all we got to do is go to our speed and hit reverse. Okay, that's all you need to do for that one and you can see right away that now the water is going up and here the water was going down. Okay, now how do we make that smooth? Well, there's a nice little transition that I keep in my favorites called dissolve. And we're just going to drop a dissolve between the two clips. And let's let this go ahead, background process, and go ahead and finish. And you can see the effect. And while we're waiting on that, we'll drop a dissolve on the other end as well. Okay, we'll go ahead and watch it now. So down, and it just dissolved. So you can't really see the dissolve, but you also can't see the transition anymore between up and down. So here, uh, which way is the water going over here? I forgot. Water's going down. So here... We're going up, and then we're coming down. And that little jerk was just because I didn't let see the red line. I didn't let it finish processing. So let's let that finish for a second. And there it is. Okay, and up and down. Really, really smooth. You can also adjust the transitions if you like. You can just drag them, make them really big, really small. Um, real small like that. I'm just going to take the default because it works the best for me. And you can watch any number of my other videos where I show you how to keyframe and uh, adjust the scale. But let's go ahead and do it just so you can see the whole thing. So what we're going to do is just go ahead and remove the waterfall completely. Stock media, grab your clip. I'm going to mute mine right away. I'm going to find a place to start the scaling up the keyframe under video, keyframe, Bring it up to about here, set the end point, set my percentage to 250, and you can see what's happening, scales it up, and right around in here somewhere, I'm going to split it, so the water is going down, and then the water is going to go up right here on this section. And for that, just pick your speed, and hit reverse, go to transitions, grab dissolve, Drop one in, drop one in. I'm going to shrink those down just a bit. They're a little long of a transition for what I want. And let's let the background processing continue, and then we'll go ahead and see the finished result. And we're ready. So scaling up, scaling back, scaling up. And did you notice that when I hit reverse on this, it also reversed the scale. See the scales going backwards? And that gives it a really, really cool effect. You see the transition? It makes it a smooth... You can't even hardly see what's happening. Anyway, that's it. Uh, if someone wanted to know how you did these motion reverses, um, Filmora just makes it so easy. Select your clip, choose speed, and reverse. And that's it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon on the next video.